Hello, this is Hammy Time. I'm going to show you my homemade hamster playpen wall that I made from duct tape and picture frame glass. Okay, so here it is. It's several panes of glass from picture frames I got from the dollar store and of course some duct tape. And I taped around the edges to smooth them out and I taped them up to create this accordion fold. And I used glass. I wanted plexiglass. I thought these were going to be plexi, but um, they turned out to be glass. And if you're worried about the glass breaking, you can put some clear plastic tape over the glass so if it does break, it's not going to shatter. The tape will, will prevent the little pieces from getting everywhere. The glass turned out to be a pretty good idea because it weighs the wall down so that my hamsters can't nudge their little noses underneath and lift it up and escape from underneath, um, which is the case with the foam core that I made. They can escape from this by crawling underneath. So they can escape by nudging underneath the foam core. But I still use it for when they're in their ball because it makes a good barricade. I have to barricade off the stairs so they don't fall down them and it works pretty good for that. Another wall I have is the Critter Trail Playpen accessory which is really cute and really cool. It's got these really cool um, tunnel connectors. However, I have two Syrian hamsters. I have one small one and one large one and it takes both of them two seconds to climb over this wall and break out. So if I use this, it's a supervised, a heavily supervised wall. I have two different walls for my hamsters. This one's shorter and longer. This one's for, for Ginger. She doesn't try as hard to break out. And Sneakies is a master Houdini breakout artist, so I had to make hers a little taller. And I got a little crazy with the duct tape, but it works really well for her. And both of them I have to use these door stops when I put them up to their doors just to keep them from nudging them away from the wall so they can sneak by them. And the door stops work really great at preventing them from breaking out that way. So the plates and walls are really easy to make. I'll use my foam core wall to use an example. All you do is just get your pieces and you just tape one on this side and then the other side and then this side and the other side and this side and you just do it for as long as you want your wall and it's super simple. Um, I got my foam core from the dollar store, got everything except for the duct tape from the dollar store and so it was very cheap, inexpensive and easy to make. So hopefully you can make one for your hamster, give her lots of room. My hamsters love their walls, They're, they come out every night and you know explore their walls, their play pens, and they seem to love to have that, that option of coming out of their cage anytime they want. So anyways, I hope that inspired you to make one for your hamster, and thank you for watching.